Hi everyone, welcome to this Bybot Pro video. Today we're going to be looking at how to use the export function in Bybot Pro to turn all of your Bybot Pro deal data into uh, a Google Sheet document. So why is this important? Well, well when you're analysing deals with Bybot Pro, it can be useful to collect all your deals into one long list. So you can go back to it at a future date, uh, or perhaps you're using a VA and they're sourcing deals for you and if they use the export function within Bybot Pro all of the deal data will be transferred to the Google document which you can then review and decide if you want to purchase the product. Now if you're using Profit Protector Pro you can uh, scroll down here and make sure that you're logged in with your email and license key and there's then an option to save the uh, info from Bybot Pro to Profit Protector Pro as it's fully integrated. And so you probably won't need to use the Google Sheet export function as it will already be within Profit Protector Pro and you can analyze and monitor your SKUs and ASINs from within, within Profit Protector Pro. But for those of you who haven't got Profit Protector Pro or just are curious about the export function to the Google Sheets, then this video is for you. So before we start, it's really important uh, to mention that you need to be logged in on your Google Drive account and that has to be the same account that you're logged into on Chrome. So you know some people have different email addresses and um, you might be logged in on one Gmail and, and then on another browser you could be on something different. Well make sure they're the same so you want to log in on Chrome as the same Gmail account as you've got for your Google Drive here. So in Google Drive then you can create uh, a new Google document spreadsheet. Now this is really important that you create it from within Google Drive so you can't just open up an Excel document for example and then use that, that's not going to work. It has to be integrated to the Google Drive system. Okay so this is the document that we want our data to be populated. So what we're going to do is just come back to here um, this is just an example product. Um, obviously, you can see it's not we're not even eligible to sell this, so we wouldn't even go ahead and write this down as a deal. But for the purpose of this video, this is what we're going to be using. So we hit the settings cog there. You can see the Google Sheets ID box is here. So what we want to do is we want to grab the URL from the sheets. I'm going to paste it in there like that. And now we're going to go ahead and click save. Remember, you always need to click save. Okay, so as you can see, nothing has been populated just yet. You might think, oh, why is that? It's not worked. Well, you first of all have to make sure you've clicked the analyze button because at the moment you've told Bybot Pro you want the data to be populated here, but Bybot Pro hasn't got any data to work with yet. So we're just going to pretend we can buy this at 12 pounds and this is the, the sell price. Let's go ahead and click analyze. Great. Okay. So that's analyzed. Now, once you've analyzed your deal, you don't just go back to here because the data will not have been copied across. So all you have to do is go down to here where it says export data. And if you click this little green button here, copy to my buy sheet. And then we've got this little indication here, copy to your sheet. So now when we go ahead and click on the spreadsheet, voila. So we've now got uh, all the information here that Bybot Pro has gathered on the data. You might be thinking, oh, well, what does this mean? Column A, B, C, they're probably they're quite obvious. So we've got category, product, ASIN, but then what are these? 12, 1999, 19.75, etc., etc. Uh, some of those you probably guess, but others might be a bit more obscure. So how do you know what those are? Well, you come back to Bybot Pro, we click the settings cog, and where it says customize here, we click on that. This is what the columns mean. So you can see that this is currently what they're, they're set at. Um, you can change things around in here. Let's just put these back to A, B, and C. So for example, if we wanted the buy price, to be uh, second on the list. We'll put that in column B. Just, there we go. And let's change ASIN to D. So we're going to move the buy price 
to the second column. So that should be in B. Uh, currently, the buy price is in D. So we want this to move to B. Let's just see if that works. Hit OK. Come down here and click Save again. So again, we can see that this hasn't yet uh, changed to the B column. That's because we just have to go ahead and click Analyze again because we've made a change and so we just need to populate that information once more. Uh, then we're going to click the copy to the sheet. Let's have a look now. So there we go. We can now see that when we've analysed this deal again, the buy price is actually now coming to column B. So ideally what you probably want to do is set up your columns as is. I mean, you can just leave them. You know, some people just leave them exactly how um, Bybot Pro says, through A down to Y. Uh, but if you are interested in moving around, then of course you can. So I would suggest move them all around first if you want different columns at different places. And then um, you can obviously add your own headings in this Google Docs spreadsheet so you know exactly what each column uh, is referring to. And also just another thing to note, if you want to type in your source for, for buying the product, so where can you purchase this product at, you can actually enter the URL here. So for example, this product here, this um, Babyliss Curl Pro, if we could source it from Argos, say, um, I know it's saying 19.99, but let's pretend we could get some discounts on there. Remember, use your extensions such as Honey, Pouch, uh, and any dis student discount codes or military discounts or NHS discounts that you can get. Um, if we could get that for less, then it could be a good deal. We'll copy that. So copy the URL, head back to Bybot Pro, and in here, we're just going to paste that in, and we're going to click Copy to my Buy Sheet. So it's copied to the sheet. Uh, and if we go back to here, we can see that this is the Amazon link, so it's not that one. But there we go. So it's come up in column S, and that's the Argos link right there. So that's just how you set up uh, your Google export sheets. Uh, just another quick thing, the notes section. This is a relatively recent addition to Bybot Pro. This can be really useful if you want to write something personal about the item itself. So you might want to say, um, yep, looks like a great, yep, looks like a great deal. And that's saving, as you can see there, to the sheet. We'll just oops, click that once more. And if we go back to the sheet, we've got it there, the notes comes up in uh, column W. So of course this is just an example, so we've got obviously the same deal duplicated as that's what we've been just looking at in this video, but the idea is you'd have one line for each product deal, so you can see all of your information in just one easy to navigate document. And that's it, that's how the Bybot Pro Google Sheets document works in terms of the export function. Just remember to copy your Google Sheets URL into this place here, press save. Make sure you click the analyze button so there's actually data there for Bible Pro to draw into the Google Sheet. And then finally, remember to click this button here, which is the copy to my buy sheet, which will then directly copy everything to your Google spreadsheet so you can see everything in an easy to read format. Mm -hmm.